Hi there buddies, it's Speed 22 and this is episode... Two of Earthbound Beginnings, and hopefully, <laughs> I get this right, episode 98 of the Mother series on my channel. 98 keepers. Anyway. Okay, Pokey's messing around with the cops. The cops are messing around with Pokey. Can't really seem to do anything up there, so I will go this way. That guy wants the cops to leave. I do too. Um... I thought about my items, and I thought, okay, well, maybe I could bribe a cop with a loaf or hit them with my broken bat. That would not go well. Maybe I'm, I'm supposed to actually do what Pokey says and go back home. Uh, maybe. I mean, I did wake up in the middle of the night. Oh, dear. I am trying to find the sprint button that doesn't exist. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, what? I'm confused. Did I come from that way? Okay, no, here's just where the present is. Gotta, 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 gotta brain. <laughs> That's something hard for me. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, there's that stuff down there. Which might be something of interest, but it doesn't seem like I can go down there. What's with that? And yeah, it's very interesting that, uh, Ness... Ninten... You know, he went up, uh, at least for uh, Earthbound Zero slash Mother slash Earthbound Beginnings. Hey, look, sister's out. That's probably important. But yeah, interesting that Ninten fought Gygas so long ago, and then here, some form, some kind of, something linked to Gygas that Leak, I, at least I assume, is. Because <laughs> I know that, spoilers for this game, <laughs> uh, Gygas is the final boss. That's, that's like... I know what I know about the game. I knew the characters' names. I know Gygus is the final boss. And I know that there's a character called Pokey. Wait, maybe that's Mother 3. But I don't know. I try not to learn very much if I can. And then I, I know something else, but I don't want to say it. It's not something it's not something big at all. But it's something that I want to to want to see. Without mentioning. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. Yes. Just got on my scooter. Ness got on his scooter and just... Scootered up the stairs. And into the bed. Later that night. Okay, so it's still that night. And later that night. Interesting. These sounds are kind of scary. Yeah, I noticed it's kind of, kind of, kind of spooky. Hey, I just pajamaed. Uh, Ness got in his pajamas again. That is a very annoying knock. It's like he's hitting the top, the bottom, the middle, all the door parts. My land! Who could be knocking at the door this, this time of night? Go answer it. That looks, uh, ooh, look at those animations. Oh, Pokey. Listen to what I've got to say. When I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed. Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. Snicker. Is she, I think she's Nessa's sister, and she looks a lot like that one girl from Peanuts. Uh, what's her name? Um... I think the one who's in love with Linus? I don't know her name, though, at all. But that's a neat hairstyle. No one has that hair anymore. I wonder why. Anyway, uh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual, Snicker. Oh, if you do have that hairstyle and you're somehow watching this, very nice. Anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Sharks running around the town. Okay, local, local ruffians. I wouldn't have been surprised if they were talking about actual sharks. 
And they were really going wild. Suddenly I noticed that Picky was gone. I blamed the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? Yeah. Okay, good buddy. Let's go blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? Okay, no, that is his mom, apparently. I think. Right? Another dog is unreliable, but you should take dog along. The cracked bat in Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural-born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. Again, this is just a typical goodbye for them. <laughs> every single, every single day, I guess when Ness goes off to school, it's like I know that you're my strong, the strong boy. No, whatever. And she said. No, man, I wish I, I wish I had, like, a laser memory. I remember the general gist of it, but I cannot say it word for word. But I know that it was very nice. I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. She said you'll go far for one thing. You might get hungry along the way, so here is a cookie. I said my favorite game. What? I said my favorite food was cookies in the last game. I did not say that in this game, but here it's giving me a cookie again. I think. Wait, did I get? Is it just automatically a cookie no matter what? You can also leave anything you don't do with me. Yeah, I guess not. No, I don't actually want to store anything. Someone help. How do I escape? Uh, it's an infinite. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, what did she say if I say no? No! These controls are a little... It's my line. Now, what does that mean? Is that like 80s slang or something? Gotta remember that this was localized at this time, so it's gonna... It's it's uh, messages and localization might be a bit more genuine. Whatever that means. <laughs> what the hey? We'll see ya. Okay. <laughs> see ya. Yeah, sure. You're cool. Whatever. Wait, but I thought that you were all nine. Uh, okay, maybe she, maybe she's got done with it. <laughs> was that, was that, is that the mom? I'm confused now, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess it is. <laughs> but I guess like she said all that stuff, and now she's kind of burnt out with the, with the, with the, with the, with the whatever that's called. Yes, take the dog. I guess I have no choice. Let's go indeed. Sucked him up. Dog joins ya. Whoa, whoa, he's really there, isn't he? And alright, Pokey. I'll follow at a safe I'll follow at a safe distance. Pokey joins you. Nice. Okay, uh did she say anything? Yeah, we're cool, man. Let's go do whatever. I guess look at the meteor. Oh. Ah. No, I guess that's important. Oh, yeah. Hello, it's your dad. Yes. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically doing your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Do you have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy! I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. Wahaha, <laughs> slam. Beep! 
Don't worry, I can tell you from experience that you will absolutely be the, the true hero of the adventure. Because, uh... Ooh, boy. <laughs> Uh, I keep trying to sprint. That's a crow. Crows are bad guys in the last game. Let's go to Pokey's house. Is it home yet? You've got to bring Picky back before he comes home. I'll try to help you a little. Okay. I wanted to see what he said if I did try. Wait, where does his path go? I'm very good at getting distracted. It goes nowhere. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go probably fight the crow. The crow left. Never mind. <laughs> you know, it's kind of weird seeing like, oh yeah, this is an updated console. Hey, Ness, are you just gonna wander around when you're when you please? <laughs> well, I don't know, man. I'm just looking. I want to see what's changed. That's a rabbit. That thing looks awesome. I don't know. Maybe it's a rabbit. Runaway dog. Okay. Let's see what the auto does. It'll teach us some stuff. Dog is making a loud, piercing howl. Well, okay. That was weird. Okay. Gotta remember... Okay, no PSI yet. Defend, run away, good. Yes. Loud piercing howl. Pokey's apologizing to the dog or, or, or Ness. I don't know who. Also, oh my gosh, that, um, that looks loud. Let me, uh, come on, man. I don't want to go too high, too low. I want to go Let's try 15. I guess I should remember that I did that. Because I... I want you to be able to hear the game. But also, I don't want to be drowned out by it. Where it's a confusing mess. Negative 15 looks a bit too far. Now there's like... Now the little bars are tiny when before they were going like halfway across. Hmm. <laughs> Life up. Ooh, it's kind of weird that I'm getting nostalgia looking at that a little bit. It's like, oh yeah, this is Earthbound. For a second, I was like, is this having the the, the NES problem where the, the sprites are blinking? <laughs> I should probably fight every enemy, right? Also, it's just weird that they're not like, um... <laughs> cool. I'm a winner. Ness gained one exp. <laughs> one. Lovely. I mean, like I got used to so to battling so much in Earthbound Beginnings, and it's like I could battle everything twice, and it would probably be the same. Um, I don't know if that's an exaggeration. It might be, but it feels like it probably isn't. But I know that I've got to be strong. But I also don't want to want to run into the uh, issue that can happen. Where if you keep going, if, you, if, I, if I fight everything, when I get the other characters, they just won't even be... No matter what I do, they'll always be too weak. Like with the beginnings, with Lloyd specifically, Ana got really good by the end of the game. Well, like pretty much better than than Ninten. Uh, not in terms of surviving hits and stuff, but in terms of power. Whoa. Anyway, now how do I find uh find the thing? Um, PSI a. Whoa, that's uh weird how it's organized like this. But okay. 
No! <laughs> okay, that did a lot. Well, that snake just, just lunged. But again, starting out by fighting snakes and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, Dogsk is doing quite a lot as well. Thank you, Dogsk. Dogsk. Cool, that, that wasn't very hard. One experience. Now, actually, I do believe that, um, if we go ahead and look, check. Oh, no, status. Yeah, it does say right there, 78 XP. I don't even have to talk to the, to, to dad about that. And I think Ness is our only, is the only, like, true party, party member. A lot like, uh, these two are a lot like, spoilers, Eve was in Earthbound Beginnings. Oh, here it is, a crow. I was I was really looking forward to fighting the crows. What in the world is this thing doing? <laughs> oh man, that was a big smash. Like a big smash. <laughs> There was a cookie! Just took it. Did I say that my favorite was cookies again? I thought I said it was something really dumb. <laughs> now I gotta remember how this works. And here we go up to the meteor. Now, something that definitely is impossible to happen in this game is you get out of a battle and then one, like, not even a second later, one step later, another battle happens. That happened enough in Earthbound Beginnings for it to be uh, kind of noticeable and a little annoying. <laughs> However, here, uh, apparently there's there's not even random. I don't know if I, if I like the fact that it's not random and, you, like, you know for a fact. Maybe it'll make it less frustrating, though. Yeah, I don't know. I think it'll make it less frustrating this way. Probably so. I don't hear people, excuse me, fussing about the uh, way the enemies work in this game. Pokey's just like hanging out. <laughs> so I'm gonna say, uh, well, I'm gonna eat a cookie real quick, but I feel like where I should really start worrying and use life up is uh, when our party. Gets to being Oh those don't do anything. <laughs> I guess I can eat another one. Uh oh. Goods. Goods again. Cookie again. Ah, uh, bread roll this time. Well, actually, I don't know. I know Cookie does does six, and I know, and that's perfect for the amount I have. Actually, I want to see. Cookie, when eating, you recover about six HP. Okay, well, what about the bread roll then? Thirty. Okay, okay. So that's something that that uh, could be saved for a while, like a while, a while. It looks like, and still be useful. Nessa. <laughs> That is full HP. Alright, let's talk to this guy again. Cops are gone. What do you think about that? Too busy to investigate, but I heard a child's voice on the hilltop. I'm a busy man, but when I do... Job, I do it well. I'm a man's man. He's still trying to sell us his, uh, what was he say? His sign making? Sign making and all that other stuff that he does. I think he mainly does sign making, though. I don't know. Let's discover. <laughs> Talking to the sign. Treasure hunter. This blah, blah, blah. okay. Also a treasure hunter. Oh, hey, there he is. Oh, uh, he looks sad, but he also looks happy. He's got a smile, but he looks like he's crying. So, we'll figure that out. Oh my goodness! Look at. <laughs> I just noticed. Look at a. Uh... <laughs> Pokey. <laughs> 
That's kind of like... It's both funny and terrifying. There's a big hole here. Um, I'm guessing those are the stars. Whoa. I thought it was water though for whatever reason. A oh, woof! If I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. Okay, well, see. See a dog. Dog. There's a meteor. Caution! There are still lots of fires burning here and here and there. It's hot. Sounds like food. Caution, it's hot. Come on. I, I, guess, I guess that's what the aliens are doing. They just sent down this meteor for us to cook. I am kind of a little bit worried about what is going to happen when I talk to you. What? Oh. You woke me up. Oh, he was asleep. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad you're okay, at least. Oh, Pokey got scared and ran away. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that's quite the story he told. Anyway, well, I'm glad that you're okay, at least. Let's go home now. My mom and dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is a real big brother. Huh. What an interesting place to fall asleep, Picky. Ness, do you hear buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? Okay, all I know is that something big is going to happen here. Yes. Yes, you can hear it. Oh, dear. Hey, it is a bee. A bee I am. <laughs> not. Oh, I'm from 10 years in the future. But you're right now. This is not 10 years in the future. And in the future, all this devastation. Gigas or Darius or Gigas is or it or her whatever Gigas is, Gigas the Universal Cosmic Destroyer sent all the har all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where are you from? <laughs> there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, "When the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light." The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This, I believe. Gygus' monstrous plan must have, have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront, confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Oh. Three things of our are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. Whoop-de-doo, three people. I'm gonna say, Ness's courage, Pokey is wisdom, and Picky is friendship. No, actually, Pokey's friendship, Picky's wisdom. That's what it is. Yeah, the legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl. Who defeat Gygus. I'll tell you more later. Go now and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? Yes, it's very scary. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. I wonder what this bee knows about Ninten. I mean, maybe Ninten did. Did, um. <laughs> okay, Buzz Buzz is now, uh. On my party. That buzzing does sound a little bit like a comment said that the, the buzzing sounded like spoilers for my beginnings. Uh, Ga Gage's theme. Geeg's theme. Gage's theme. It kind of does. Anyway, Ness, it looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said. Uh. I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right now out of my chest. That's a fair, that's fair enough, to be completely honest. 
Well, okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I guess that's the end of the episode. Thank you for watching, and good bye,